Hey everybody, Rico's here. Welcome to the star screen of my PlayStation 3. That's the, yeah, Kingdom Hearts 2. That's a familiar sight. And today we're gonna we're gonna play something else. Castlevania Symphony of the Night. I just bought it on the PlayStation Store. Cause truth be told. I have never touched the Castlevania game. And I thought it would be fun. So wow, the game is really stretched out. Screen modes, can I just do it normal? Yeah, that, that looks better. The un I'll probably find something for it. Konami. Oh yeah, there's another Castlevania coming which I backed. Or an Igafania. From a Kickstarter, it's called Bloodstains. But yeah, Castlevania. Symphony of the Night. Uh, name change. Checking memory cards. Oh wait, I don't even have a thing yet, okay. Uh, file copy, file delete, well... I don't even have a file. How do I do a new game? Oh, like that. Well, my name is... Rico? I like music. Journey back to 1792 in the Transylvanian countryside of Romania. It's a pretty nice opening cutscene. Oh, we're already playing Richter. Apparently, our guy's called Richter. Controls, there's jumping. Double jump? No. We can only swing forward? And I just wasted that, okay. Oh, wow. Okay. The music is pretty sweet. So yeah, I decided to... what's that? Let's pretend as if we're... as if we know what we're doing, okay? Hey! Can I catch it? Okay, so that's limited. Die, monster! You don't belong in this world! It was not by my hand that I'm once again given flesh. I was called here by humans who wish to pay me tribute. Tribute? You steal men's souls and make them your slaves. 
Perhaps the same could be said of all religions. Your words are as empty as your soul. Mankind ill needs a savior such as you. What is a man? A miserable little pile of secrets. But enough talk. How about you? <laughs> Oh boy, we're gonna fight Dracula already. So everything I know from this game... Wow, Dracula is huge. Everything I know from... Cool, I think. Holy water. I think that's hurt him. Wait, I didn't even hurt him in the beginning. I think throwing holy water at his face will hurt him in the long run. At least, is it holy water? That's what I think it is, at least. I'm not even sure how this works. What I know is that we're a Belmont. And we are destined to kill Dracula. I can, and I can do this. I, I, no, I can't hit him from there. I have also shoulder. Did, did I get hit there? I'm not even sure anymore. And also, this is Castlevania Symphony of the Night. And I'm playing this on the PlayStation 1. The first PlayStation 1 game. This is also a first for the Castlevania series. As this, will, as this features a non-linear game. Basically backtracking is what, is what I'm pointing at. Ah, interesting. What does it do, the, the water I'm throwing at the ground? I can't even hit him like that. Okay, so I'm not sure what to do. Help. Well, at least I'm depleting some health, so that's... Oh, am I supposed to die? Or can't I die here? Oh, now I'm... Thank you, little girl. Okay, now I'm now I'm stronger and invincible. Am I invincible? Yes, I'm invincible. So I was supposed to. Die. Okay. So this is the first and reason I'm playing it is. Oh, he's not going to a second phase. Also, this looks awesome. Also, this is the best technique ever. The reason I'm playing this is because Proton John is playing another Castlevania game. Aria of Sorrow for the Game Boy. And because I have played the version... And because I backed the Kickstarter version of Bloodstained. From the creator of Castlevania. It was Richter Belmont, the legendary vampire hunter, who succeeded in finally ending the menace of Count Dracula. Lord of the Vampires, who had been brought back from the grave by the Dark Priest Shafts. However, one night four years later, under the glare of a full moon, Richter mysteriously vanished, with no idea of where to begin her search. 
Maria Renard set out to look for him. It was then that fate intervened. Castlevania, the castle of Dracula, which is rumored to appear once every century, suddenly materialized from out of the mist as if it had showered away. Meanwhile, powerful forces were struggling for the soul of a man named Alucard. The fair Sam Alucard, who had teamed up with Trevor Belmont to battle his immortal father, Count Flat Taps Dracula. Alucard, in order to purge the world of his own cursed bloodline, has submerged his vamp vampiric, vampiric powers and entered into what was supposed to be an eternal slumber. But now he is awake and aware of the evil once again at work in his homelands. The time has once again come, come for the forces of good and evil to engage in their ancient battle. Dracula's castle beckons for you, and no man can say who shall emerge victorious. So basically this was one of our great grand uh, parents because this is a Belmont, it's Richter and I don't know which game Richter is from basically I guess we are Alucards. Yeah, that's the guy I know from the screenshots. And he's fast. Are we? Okay, that's not... I'm searching for the run button. The shields? Okay, I know that that button. I know there is a run button. Ooh, that's a nice thing. Let's select. Oh, that's the map button, okay. Sorry, I'm, I'm just figuring out the controls because they're different. Ooh, we're now here. Also, we can. Apparently, we can kill the bear in one hit. Whatever that enemy is. Sorry for the quick break. Ah, it's my stream, and also I forgot to unmute the microphone, meaning this is post commentary. And let me just say that after playing this for a little while, man, what was I bad in the beginning? I'm still, I still am. Don't worry. The fun will not go away. Hey, a level up. Oh yeah, I want to say that. Here somewhere, I found out something really interesting. We have two hands we can use. We have the sword, the right hand, and the Alucard shield in the left hand, meaning we can shield. Wow. The hat that do does something, which is fire lighting eyes, that heightens HP, I believe. No, calm and defense. It's also interesting. And I also found out that if I go back. Is that it? No. Oh. I thought we were going to the options, but apparently not. So I love the one hitting enemies. But we have a long way to go, especially in. Which I believe is the next room. Oh no, this is the room. Oh, I get my ass handed to me. So, you can stop breaking all those things, because here are fish monster enemies. If I would give them a name, I would call them Merman. 
Also, at this point, I didn't know that uh, what's it called? Didn't know that I couldn't swim, meaning I'm literally drowning here. HP is getting drained without my knowledge. We're getting level ups left and right. Level three already. Oh yeah, and I found out that we have relics. And as far as recording this, I found three. And they, you can turn them on and off, which is really nice. Especially since comparing it to the whatever this game called. Ari of Sorrow, which is a Game Boy Advance game. It's even better than this one for ours I've seen. Now, I don't want to say better, just more thing. And, hello! The preview window got stuck. Oh yeah, it might be shitty quality because I had to handbrake this video to save it. Because my Elgato had problems. Okay, we're out. Uh, 15 HP. 16! Yeah, that was a turtleneck back there. I really want to know the names of the enemies. I wonder if there's a thing we can unlock that for us, because I remember seeing it in the other Castlevania games. Like, from the get-go. Oh yeah, this room. It's death. Ah, uh, Alucard. What is your business here? I've come to put an end to this. Still befriending mortals. I'll not ask you to return to our side, but I demand you cease your attack. I will not. You shall regret those words. We will meet again. And for some reason he takes away all of her equipables. We literally have an empty hand. Time to find yourself new equipment in that case. And fail jumping. Have I told you guys already that I love the effects that you can see behind him when he moves? Maybe we're getting dull because it's like standard, but I like it for some reason. And I forgot about the triangle button. The back thing? Back wall? I forgot what the real name is. Oh boy, an enemy. We gotta punch him. We gotta punch the skeleton to death. And we got the short sword. So at least we have something. Oh, and we have a potion. Believe me, we need potions. And it's. Not even a bad sword. At least not until you compare it to this sword, Red Rust. Red Rust is a two-handed sword and it's even four points slower. And not slower, it's a slower sword. And it's a weaker sword, even weaker than empty-handed. So the only thing I can think of is that the range is long. And it kind of is, but it's super slow. So I don't know why you want to equip Red Rust unless you're going for a challenge. Yeah, really, just stick with the Sword Sword, Red Rust is ass. Also, this room has changed. The Cube of Zoe. That's our first relic, the Cube of Zoe, or, or Zoe, or whatever you call it. Basically, what it does, and I think I even googled it back here. It causes items to materialize. Basically, what that means is we saw that uh, chandelier we broke. 
Yeah, I didn't know what I was doing, so I right here I was googling. But basically, what it does is whenever I hit a chandelier, I uh, hearts will drop out. And no, not hearts for life. Hearts are ammunition in the Castlevania series. But hey, that's my time. Let's go back to gaming records. I've been playing without the microphone for a while, and that sucks. <laughs> okay, voice voice over. Gonna... That sucks. Yeah, that's good to know. Uh, basically, the cube of Zoe lets items from candle things materialize, which is good thing. But next episode, we're going past this door and see what's over there. Thank you, and I'm sorry for the voiceover. See ya.